Hey guys, I've been asked by some of my wonderful viewers out there to let you guys know how microwave radiation works in comparison to Apple's new AirPods Pro. I'm right next to the microwave and look at it, 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared. All right, there you go, right there, 450 <laughs> milliwatts per meter squared. So I have with me right here, this is an EMF RF radiation meter. As you can see, the, the transient levels in the room are microwaves. That's 200 microwatts, 100 microwatts in the room right now, 100 microwatts. What that means is it's 0.1 milliwatts per meter squared. So if you look on the WHO's website, the World Health Organization in public exposure limits, maximum public safety exposure, it has microwaves to go up to 0.5 watts, which is 500 milliwatts. So the highest amount of radiation this fella could leak is 500 milliwatts. So let's watch this meter right here. Microwatts, let's turn it on. As you can see, the microwave is on, yet it's still in microwatts. So it's nowhere near, nowhere near that level. What you have to do to hit the public exposure limit is go all the way next to the microwave. I'm right next to the microwave and look at it. 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared. 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared. And that's when you're right next to the microwave, your head right next to the microwave. And that is within the WHO's public safety limit. Understand that? 0.5, 500 milliwatts is the maximum this microwave can go and it's gone within those limits. It went, the highest it ever went was around 300 to 400 milliwatts. Now, yesterday we tested the AirPods Pro. All right, there you go. Right there, 450 <laughs> milliwatts meter squared, almost 500 and that's a centimeter away. I'm gonna put it really close and it's broke the meter. <laughs> And the highest that fella went was a thousand, a thousand, over a thousand. It went so high that this reader could not compute it anymore. Zero L means it's too high to understand. Normally though, it goes around 300. So an AirPods Pro is designed to go between your ears. It's going similar levels to a frigging microwave on full blast. So you have to be like this. This is like, this is life with an AirPods Pro. Guys, I hope you found that a bit enlightening. I know this whole radiation stuff, it's a very sensitive topic. A lot of people don't wanna understand all this stuff. I know it's very sensitive, but I'm just putting, hey, thank you, proof, proof it was on. <laughs> I'm just putting this information out there. If you guys, you don't believe me, get an EMF reader, test it yourself, do some research. If you wanna leave some comments disputing this, be civil about it. I've had lots of people in the, well, to be honest, to be honest, most of the people in my last video, very kind people, very polite. 99% of them are good. A couple of them though, they're just very vindictive people. I'm not even gonna give them air. But basically, if you have an opinion, state facts. Let's talk about it. I love talking to smart people, but don't be rude. I'm right next to the microwave and look at it. 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared. All right, there you go. Right there, 450 <laughs> milliwatts meter squared. All right guys, I hope you found this uh, video a bit off the cuff a bit different than what other people are publishing out there, but that was the AirPods Pro versus a microwave radiation test. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Yo, AirPods Pro are the best. <laughs> microwave waves are for the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. AirPods, AirPods. That's crazy, isn't it? I can't believe it wasn't that high.